welcome back to my channel Kuluru Venith. So today I'll continue the same address playlist. So today's question is finding row with maximum number of ones in the given matrix. Okay, so let's see what this uh, question looks like. So let me take an example here. So this is the uh, example here matrix of zeros and ones we should find the row with the maximum number of ones okay here the output should be the row number which will be having maximum number of ones so in this case it is two since the second row is having maximum number of ones right the question is clear right now coming down to the intuitional approach what i will do straight forward is i will iterate through every row and keep count of ones present in each row and at the end return the row with maximum number of ones okay so yeah i think it will be clear once i start writing down that approach so let me start writing down that approach okay so approach one keeping track of counts of ones in each row okay so let me name this as approach one and uh, here input would be matrix so that is list of list of integers and the return type would be int since the we are returning the row number so that would be of type integer okay so let me take one map of type key type as int and uh, value type as int so this i'm using to store count of ones in each row here key would be a row number and value would be a count would be the uh, number of ones in each row okay so and uh, i will i'll also take so let me write directly the loop okay I'll just write a loop that is for i in nums dot indices okay and uh, we can take one count here for num in nums of i okay what we'll do is we will increment the count and here I will store that count into the map okay and here what I'll do is I will take one more variable and find the maximum maximum values in the given map and finally what i will do is i will return the i will apply filter on maps not norms okay filter look for the value which is having the max count okay and take the keys of that okay one second so here I will make this as list so there might be a, a rows with same number of ones which are max numbers okay so that is the reason so this would give us the row number which would be having the maximum number of ones okay now coming down to the time and space complexity okay coming time uh, since we are um, using two loops to iterate through every row uh, in the given matrix so it will be order of uh, n square and uh, coming down to space complexity it would be order of n as i am using extra hash map to store uh, count of ones in each row okay so let me write down that here time is order of n square 
and space is order of n okay so yeah so this was the approach one for this question well uh, is there any other way that we could write down um, solution for this question optimizing the space or time well i could say yeah there is uh, what we do is rather than uh, coming from the left we'll try to come from the top right end of the given matrix and compare the ones from the right towards to the left so that would give us the maximum number of ones in the most optimized manner okay so let me write down that approach approach to traversing from the right end of matrix okay so let me name this as approach to input remains same okay and here uh, let me make this a sentence C because in example I'm trying to give one so let's see and uh, here what I will do is I will initialize one pointer to the the size uh, end, end index of the row okay that is this one okay and now i will iterate through and also let me keep track of one way a row like that is the a number that will be written in after this function ends okay so now what i'll do is i will iterate through matrix right now what we'll do is i will check if i will check until j is greater than or equal to 0 and nums of i of j is equal to 1 we keep on decrementing the j and keep track of the row number okay and finally once we are done we return row right so this would give us the row number which should be having the maximum number of ones in the given matrix okay now coming down to the time and space complexity uh, since we are uh, traversing the matrix so this would be order of uh, m plus n and uh, coming down to space it would be just order of one since we are using two just temporary variables okay time would be order of m plus n and the space would be order of one okay yeah so these are the two approaches for this question so let me write down a main and uh, execute the above two approaches and see what the output looks like okay let me take the same example as above okay first let me initialize the object of the above class that is row with max ones okay and uh, store answer of approach one in some variable called approach one in rows with max one approach one i will straight away take list of the same example just a second this one and do the same for other rows as well except that include one here and also oh, right so i took the example and now let me uh, print that that is ok 
okay approach to i don't want a new line so let me do it like this and this is approach one sorry okay and straight away print the row number and similarly similarly what i'll do is i'll do the same for approach to okay so approach to here i'll call the respective function name let me take the same example here and use it here okay so yeah these are the two approaches so let's execute and check what the output looks like Approach two has given the correct answer, but approach one is not correct. Did I miss something? Mm -hmm. so what did I miss? Okay, num start indices, num sin num i. Oh my god. Oh God, it should be num equals to one. Then only we increment the count. Okay. So. Okay. We increment the count. I think now it should give us the required answer. Let's execute. Yeah. There we go. The answer for approach one and approach two is same. That is the. Uh, row number consisting of maximum number of ones in this example it is the second row we are getting the same answer from approach one and approach two yeah so that is it for this video thank you so much uh, for supporting me and uh, keep watching my videos there will be a lot more exciting content coming up your way thank you so much <laughs>